The resettlement process here in Damaknapur is a series of steps that, that we undertake um, for the refugees. We have information sessions in the camp, there are focus group discussions that can also use other media outlets for information such as mass media, radio bulletins and posters and a series of counselling sessions we use to inform refugees about the resettlement process. We want to give refugees as much information as possible um, for them to decide, to make a well-informed decision about their future. After that, the refugees will come forward um, and sign what we call a declaration of interest, which is their own self-referral for resettlement consideration. We then call refugees in camp to something called a verification interview, where we do a series of interviews with them about their family and about their history. And then after that, we start to look at their needs. Are there any special needs on their case? Is there anything that needs specific attention? And we start to draft that up for resettlement countries. The information program has various different aspects, one of which is a central uh, information session. We hold this in every camp every single week, and we respond to the queries of the refugees and the, the issues that the refugees bring to our attention. Another way that we find very effective in this caseload is also to go on a mobile information campaign. And this is something very unique here, that we actually go into the camps and we identify those people, because we know who they are through our interviews, who are either pending a decision in the family about resettlement, they might have a different uh, opinion about resettlement in the family, or they might not be interested and require more information. So what we try to do is actually engage with them in their own environment, in their own huts, and we sit with them and we listen to them, what their concerns are, and we try to give them the appropriate counselling at the household level, basically. So it gives lots of reassurance, and it's specific and it's targeted to the individual rather than on a, on a mass level. I think this operation is extremely successful, and uh, we've been able to refer over 90,000 people now to different countries, and over 62,000 people have departed. And we still have work to do. We still have many people who want to be resettled, who want to be reunited with their relatives, with their close relatives in the settlement country. So I think a lot of our areas of concern will be trying to ensure that people have family unification at this stage in the process. There are still many thousands who need to be resettled. And we also find that nearly everybody in the camp now has a close family member in a resettlement country. So it's trying to ensure that that family linkage.